Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Emily and I'm an artist. Today's video is going to be a paint with me where I'll be working on a watercolor piece. I don't normally paint with watercolors, but I felt this medium best fit my vision. While I paint, I want to introduce myself and let you guys in on my creative journey along with talking about my intentions and plans for this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy. There was a quote I recently read by Rick Rubin that goes, the search for perfection often hinders and slows down the creative process. I wanted to start my video off with that quote because I feel like it really resonates with my creative journey. It took me a while to admit to myself that I'm an artist because I almost felt like my work wasn't worthy enough to be given that label or because I don't have an art degree, it makes me less credible. My relationship with art was always this cat and mouse chase. From when I was little, my parents wanted to enroll me in art classes, but I always refused. I remained creative throughout my childhood and into high school, filling my schedule with related courses. And around spring of my sophomore year, I had this great idea to take art classes. I couldn't give my parents the credit, of course, but I saw this as an opportunity to add to my resume for college applications and a possibility of helping me out if I went down a creative career path. I learned a lot with my art teacher for the three years I worked with her. She taught me the technique and skill that I was missing, but by the time senior year came and I was applying for colleges, I was set on not going to art school. I had a vision of going to a big state school on the West Coast, specifically UCLA. I wanted to apply to their design media arts program and I did their summer program um, one year and that was really fun so it just made me even more excited to go to UCLA so that was my dream ever since I was a freshman but overall I really wanted to go to a school where I would attend sports games go to tailgates go to parties and just experience college like I was in a movie during this time I also adopted more interest in photography and digital arts Photography became a really big passion of mine. I snuck my way into AP Photography, which all my art teachers in high school were confused about because I had taken all the art courses to take AP Art and no photography courses, but appealed to be an AP Photo. So they were just, they never understood that and they would always ask me about it and kind of make fun of me for it because I also did drop all the way down to a beginner level art class to be with one of my friends. So one of my art teachers, he was just like, I don't understand you. Anyway, I think this played a large role in my relationship towards art because I saw myself as a better photographer than I did traditional artist. I had plans on majoring in graphic design, so as a result, I didn't take my portfolio seriously. I remember being really mad the day I had to drive with my parents to Connecticut for Portfolio Day, where I would showcase my work to art schools I didn't care about. I ended up being offered a generous scholarship from one school, but being the stubborn person I am, I didn't even consider it for a second. I also kind of had that unfortunate mindset of thinking the school wasn't worthy of my time because it didn't have a reputation like RISD, Pratt, Parsons. It was kind of like a no-name school in my head, which is just obviously not the right way to think, but I was 17 and I've grown a lot since then. If I could go back, I would kick 17 year old me. So fall of 2017, I obviously didn't go to art school and I didn't get into UCLA, but I started my journey at the University of Oregon. I was originally an art and technology major and then before I got to campus, I switched to a cinema studies major. I have no idea what I wanted to do within cinema studies. I think that I thought I wanted to do film. I thought that it would be interesting and maybe I could eventually find that passion for it, but it just didn't work out. So I finally decided on advertising because my roommate was a PR major and she gave me some insight on the School of Journalism Communications. And after doing my research on the advertising program, it just seemed like a good fit and I thought that it was gonna be a fun experience. So I went in that direction. But I stopped practicing my art altogether. I think I drew maybe once my freshman year of college, and I'm pretty sure I skipped class to sketch in my notebook, which was not the right thing to do. <laughs> because I also think that whatever I drew was definitely not worth skipping class for. But I ended up convincing myself that I hated art, and I 
felt like my lessons had gone to waste so I kind of felt bad about that but it was how I felt at the time and I just moved on with my life and I don't think I ever thought about art ever again for a while. During my sophomore year, I decided I wanted to go abroad, so that summer I ended up interning in Stockholm, Sweden. I think my time there was a huge transformative period for me. It almost made me feel like I did studying abroad wrong because my experience was so different than everyone else's I had seen. I felt like I had even less direction than I started with. I didn't know why I was an advertising major and I didn't even know what I wanted to do with my life. So when I got home, I was really sad and felt empty inside. I ended up deleting my social media for several months and taking the time to focus on myself without any distractions. I spent a week in Washington DC with my mom, ate some really good Indian food, and explored all the museums and did a bunch of tourist things. It was really refreshing and something that I think I desperately needed. I started my junior year of college a couple of weeks later. I had so much more clarity and started drawing again. The first thing that I drew was a picture of Emily Ratajkowski. And I was really impressed with how it came out because it was 10 times better than anything I drew when I was in art class and this was with two years of not picking up a single pencil or paintbrush. I think the biggest difference was I think I had a lot more confidence in myself at the time that I drew this drawing compared to how I felt about myself when I was in high school. So I started spending my paycheck on art supplies instead of clothes which was a big step because I have a huge shopping addiction and I had all these ideas coming to my head and for the first time in a while I felt so confident and authentic to myself. I stayed an advertising major because it was a little too late for me to switch I think but my proficiency in Adobe Creative Suite led me to a focus in design which I still laugh at because I changed my first major after I realized I didn't want to do anything design related. However, I'm really grateful to have ended up in the School of Journalism Communications because I'm able to still take what I learned and apply it to my art. It also led me to a lot of opportunities that allowed me to meet a lot of great people. Eventually, COVID happened and I was sent back home to New Jersey. While a lot of unfortunate things happened during this time, being in quarantine really forced me to work on my art. It's when I started pulling out pieces back to back and realizing that I am an artist and this is what I want to do. Since then, I've been doing rounds of commissioned work across the country, which has been so amazing and I'm so appreciative of the support that I've received. So if you are watching this and you have supported me through my commissions, thank you so much. And currently I'm working on expanding my art into a business and pushing myself to reach my goals. Now that I'm older and more self-aware than I was in high school, I can admit to myself that me not wanting to go to art school and being mad about going to Portfolio Day was never about my lack of passion for art, it was all about my lack of confidence. I loved how art made me feel, how I could so easily isolate myself into my own world when I would create, but I never felt good enough about myself and I didn't want to be judged by others and told what I already thought of myself. I do think part of me was influenced by my surroundings as well, with not wanting to go to art school. Having that cliche college experience is so glamorized when you're in high school, it's hard to not fall into wanting that. But that's another topic for another day. While it would be amazing to say I've overcome my self-doubt, I still struggle a lot with my confidence as an artist and question my talent all the time. I strive for perfection and that slows me down a lot. I find myself always waiting for the right time instead of just taking the leap. There's a lot for me to unlearn and grow from, but I'm glad my passion for art always chased me when I was running away. I'm excited to document this journey, share more of my artwork, and who I am. I want to use this platform to create a community where we can talk about relatable topics for not just creatives, but anyone trying to navigate adulthood and pursue their dreams. I've always loved being able to find YouTubers I can relate to because it makes me realize I'm not alone, so to also be able to do that for other people through my content would be amazing. If you've made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you the next video. Bye guys!